Hey, this is Keelan. Um, God just put something on my heart, and uh, I wanted to make a quick video on uh, what he just put on my heart. Um, it's something that I think everybody within uh, our gener generation, um, if you're you know anywhere, you know between like the 25 to you know like. 15 16 year old right now that should really I don't know I feel like this is something that uh could help with some stuff um sorry uh allergies are killing me right now um but uh something I was thinking uh we spend way too much time on these things cell phones um and not enough time in our bibles you know the word of god um you know, yeah, you can have your Bible app on your phone, but it's not the same as open up the Bible. There's been plenty of times um, to where I've just opened up the Bible and God has showed me what I needed to see that day. Um, I don't do that every day. I don't just open up and then, you know, God shows me something. I wish it happened like that every day. Um, and I, I wish I read my Bible every day and that's something I'm trying to get better and I'm trying to read more and I'm trying to study more I'm trying to learn his word more um but I'll, I'll give an example about a week ago um I came home and from school and I was I just you know wanted to read something in my bible I didn't know what so I just said God show me what I need to read today uh opened up my bible it was uh I can't remember the book or anything like that it was the uh passages about um there's a time for everything you know, there's time to grieve there's a time to rejoice there's a time to labor and there's a time um you know to relax and uh, i needed to read that that day i needed to know that there was a time for everything just because of certain things going on in my life but um you know by continuously placing this this little technology device cell phone computer, anything, anything that distracts you from the Word of God, by placing this over the Bible and His work and His words, you know, is straying away from your Father and, you know, our Creator and our God. And uh, we, we need to really dive back into our Bibles and just start reading more and, you know, understanding what He wants from us and, uh, you know, what He wants us to be and uh, how He wants us to live and the examples that we need to be. Um, I was looking for something to kind of go with this, and um, I found this. It was in, uh, let me see here, it is uh, Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 31. It's the uh, the parable of the lost son. Um, if, you know, if you've been in church any amount of time or, you know, ever read a Bible, you know, Jesus had a lot of parables, and uh, this one's really commonly known. Um, I don't want to read everything. Um, like I said, if you want to look up in, you know, look up in the Bible yourself and read word for word, um, it's like I said, it's Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 31. Um, but pretty much what he's talking about right here um, in Jesus' word in red in the Bible, um, a man had two sons. Uh, one of the sons or um, asked, you know, to let them go ahead and inherit their land. And uh, so the father distributed the land, um, while the youngest son, I believe it was the youngest son, uh, just packs his things and goes to uh, the far country and uh, squanders away all of his money. You know, he, he leaves his father, he leaves his family you know, to, in pursuit of foolish, manly flesh things, and, uh, he wastes all of his money, um, then a drought came in the region that he was living in, so food was scarce, he, uh, got a job working for a man feeding pigs, and, uh, he wanted to eat the pig slops, the, uh, the food that they gave to the pigs, but, you know, they wouldn't let him because it's the pig's food, and he was just thinking, you know, why am I doing this when my father you know, has hired hands that are not going hungry, and I'm starving to death. And he said, you know, surely my father will not forgive me, but surely I can return to my father. And, you know, he packs up, he leaves, he goes back, 
And before he even gets there, his father sees him. You know, he's probably like, you know, a mile or so down the road, and his father can see an outline, and it just vaguely looks like his son. And his father goes running to him and just welcomes him back home. And that's how our father will be. You know, no matter where we drift off to, you know, with these cell phones, computers, you know, whatever it is, no matter how far we go away, our Father will always welcome us back with, you know, loving arms. He'll always want us to come running back to Him. So, um, hope this, you know, touches somebody's heart, and I hope this makes somebody's day better. And, you know, if you don't know Jesus as your personal um, Lord and Savior, today's the best day. Any day is the best day. Just before it's too late, let them in your heart. You know, just believe in the mouth or believe in the heart and confess by the mouth that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and uh, He'll do wonderful things for you. Um, he saw me through a lot of things, so like I said, try to spend a little less time on this and a little less time on the internet. I'm putting this on the internet to reach people, so hopefully you'll get this and uh, you can start reading in your Bibles and seeing what God has planned for you. So thank you. Have a blessed day.